हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज रंजित भोसले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एमबी डिपार्टमेंट के आईटीज आईएमईआर कोल्हापुर आई बी डीलिंग विद द लीगल एंड बिजनेस एनवायरनमेंट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन मर्केंटाइल लॉ मर्केंटाइल लॉ इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज बिजनेस लॉ और कमर्शियल लॉ and the law that regulates commercial activities of the economy so for each and every business who is contributing towards the economy these laws are very important for them it is a very wide term and all the laws that regulate the commercial transactions in india are covered under its ambit the prerequisite of transaction is a valid agreement between the parties to the contract it can either be expressed or implied which is coming under the indian contract act The Indian Mercantile Law was developed with the enactment of the Indian Contract Act 1872. So this was done in the pre-independence period. Earlier it was governed by the personal laws of the party to contract. The first attempt to codify mercantile law in India was made by the Britishers in 1872 by the enactment of the Indian Contract Act. Since then numerous laws have been enacted in India to regulate commercial transactions such as Partnership Act, Negotiable Instrument Act and various others. The sources of mercantile law includes the English mercantile law enacted acts by the Indian legislature judicial decisions and customs and trade usage The basic functions of mercantile law includes that it formulates the rules and regulation based on the acceptance and rejection of the society after observing several situations So for enacting any law only one situation is not enough various several situations have been observed and then the decisions are been taken it helps us to protect rights and powers of both the parties of an agreement or in contract without any partiality it concentrates on resolving disputes if any that occurred due to several reasons which led to the breach of contract it tries to maintain all the citizens of the society to be in a single order of discipline it has numerous subsidiary laws and acts which helps to regulate every aspect of that particular contract or a dispute importance of legal knowledge it reduces legal roadblocks so each and every person who is working with corporates should have this kind of legal knowledge the law provides a valid recognition to the business because there are various acts which will help us to register our business and keep it ahead in the market it helps in legal decision making so your legal knowledge will be an add on for your decision making it helps in international trade as the world is becoming smaller and the globe is becoming local it will help us to go for better international trades and moreover it is a sustainable competitive advantage for each and every person who is working with corporate contributing towards the nation's economy so what are the key takeaways of today's session let us take a minute and resume So the could today's key takeaways is the law that regulates commercial activities of the economy is nothing but your business law or mercantile law the prerequisite of a transaction is a valid agreement between parties to the contract the third one the mercantile law in india is developed with the enactment of the indian contract act 1872 which was done in the pre independence period numerous laws have been enacted in india to regulate commercial transactions such as partnership act negotiable instrument act and various others the sources of mercantile law includes english mercantile law enacted acts by indian legislature judicial decisions given by various judges and customs and trade usage the last one is nothing but it formulates the rules and regulation protect the rights and powers order of discipline and numerous subsidiary laws are few of the functions of mercantile law thank you